What's up everybody, it's your boy First Degree Sports, back at you with another video, and tonight we have the Las Vegas Aces, the defending two-time champions, uh, going for their three-peat this year, going against the Chicago Sky tonight. Aces currently sitting with an eight and six record at the fifth seed, going against the Chicago Sky, who are now six and nine, sitting at the eighth seed. Both teams currently play off teams at the moment, um, about midway through the season. Right now, the Aces are coming off a two-game winning streak, beating the Seattle Storm and the Connecticut Sun. And uh, along with that streak, they have been 2-0 since the return of their point guard, Chelsea Gray, who's uh, been getting a pretty solid amount of minutes, about 17 minutes these past few games. The Chicago Sky uh, also coming off a two-game winning streak, beating the Dallas Wings and the Indiana Fever. Um, with the Aces two game winning streak obviously being a little bit, you know, well, not a little bit, a lot more impressive due to them defeating, you know, the second seed and the fourth seed. While the Sky, you know, they defeated the Fever, who are now the ninth seed in the wing, so I think are sitting 13th in the league overall, um, or 12th in the league overall, my bad. Um, the Aces, you know, looking like they're back in championship form with the return of Chelsea Gray. Uh, along with that, the Chicago Sky, on the other hand, you know, they're looking like a rejuvenated team with their new starting lineup of Lindsey Allen, Kennedy Carter, Marina Mabry, Angel Reese, and uh, Camilla Cardoso. That seems to be like a really good lineup that's working for them, and uh, you can tell that the offense, the team as a whole, is just flowing a lot more better and just has an overall better spark. Um, players to watch for sure right now, Asia Wilson and Angel Reese. Asia Wilson for the uh, Las Vegas Aces, currently sitting first overall in points at 27.8 points per game, first overall in rebounds at 11.6 per game, and steals, you know, she's top 10 in steals with about two of those. She's second overall in the league in blocks at uh, 2.4 blocks per game, and her efficiency rating in the league is number one. With Angel Reese, you know, she's on a tear of her own as a rookie leading the league in offensive rebounds and second in the league behind Asia Wilson herself overall with 11.1 rebounds. So her and Asia both averaging about the same rebounds per game. Um, Angel also not too far behind in steals, uh, also averaging about two at 1.7. First overall in rookies when it comes to steals. So she's showing that she's a pretty good two-way player uh, doing good on both sides of the ball. Angel Reese not doing bad herself in the points department, you know, for a rookie, averaging, you know, 13 points per game, pretty much. Second amongst all rookies. Um, and she's on a record-breaking streak currently of her own with eight straight double-doubles. That is a rookie record um, that she's extended to eight. The original record, I believe, was six, and she broke that a couple games ago. She's now sitting at eight. The overall record is 12 straight games. I think, believe it's held by Candace Parker, one of the greatest of all time. So that should be an interesting thing to look out for to see if she can continue that streak against the Aces, who are, you know, Asia Wilson, like we've seen, is one of the better rebounders. So it's going to be hard, you know. It's going to be interesting to see those two battling it out over, you know, who's the best rebounder in the league. Because they're the top two. So that's going to be interesting. Even though I believe Asia Wilson, due to the size discrepancy, just most likely will probably be guarding Camila Cardoso. But they're both going to be down low a lot of the game. So they'll be fighting over those rebounds. And, you know, for my Chicago Sky, it's definitely going to be a very tough game for them. Because, like I said, facing the defending champions, going for their three-peat. Chelsea Gray coming back. Looks like they're hitting a whole new stride. They look to be... In um, championship form here at the midseason, a little bit before the All-Star break and the Olympic break. Asia Wilson, who has been named to the Olympic team, of course, you know, being pretty much the best player in the league. I think she was the best player in the league last year, even though Breonna Stewart got MVP. Not saying Breonna Stewart didn't necessarily deserve it. You know, it was definitely a good argument on her end and for Asia. But this year, Asia Wilson easily playing at an MVP level. Easily the best player in the league, for sure, no doubt about it, in my mind. And I don't think a lot of people actually disagree with that statement, especially this year. And yeah, you know, Chicago Sky, they're definitely capable. I think the main thing that they truly lack, though, that's killing them this season is just the threat of a three-point three point shot. 
You got Camilla and Angel Reese down low, and most teams are just going to clog up the lane because they just know that that's where most of our points are coming, in the paint. And a lot of it is coming from Angel Reese, you know, Camilla, Kennedy Carter trying to, you know, um, penetrate the hole from the perimeter. And, you know, that's just our game. You know, a lot of mid-range shooting. That's just how Chicago Sky has been playing because our lack of three-point shooting just hasn't been there. We do have players that can obviously hit the three-point shot. Dana Evans. You got Marina Mabry. Who, they can hit it, but they've just been, they just haven't been, you know, consistently knocking down the shots. You know, they've been having some streaky performances. When they're on, you know, when Mabry's putting them up about 18 to 20 points a game, when Dana Evans is putting up about 14 to 17 points we're usually majority of the time we're winning those games but you know a lot of our strength is coming from angel reese right now with her double doubles camilla cardoso also you know our third overall pick playing you know extremely well for only being nine games in coming off an injury she just had she's coming off a couple double doubles herself last game she was 16 and 10 and then you got Kennedy Carter, for who since starting, I think is averaging about 19 or 20 points per game. But, you know, Kennedy Carter's been killing it all year. You know, if she hadn't been removed from the bench, she would have easily been sixth player of the year. But it was just time for her to become a starter. We need that spark to begin the games, to stop those cold spells on offense. So I think it's a winnable game for my Chicago Sky, but it's going to be a tough road. Like I said, we're going against the champs. We're going against Asia Wilson, best player in the league. And then on top of that, you got Kelsey Plum. Chelsea Gray is back. Jackie Young has been having an incredible season. Uh, Alicia Clark off the bench has been killing it. And overall, they're just a veteran, you know, a savvy veteran team. And then Kate Martin is also having, you know, a solid rookie season in her own right. So that's my thoughts on the game itself. You know, in other news, you know, Asia Wilson got a new logo out. As we know, she got her shoe deal. And she has a new logo coming out soon. And, um... Met with a little bit of controversy online. I'll uh, share the tweet, you know, so you can see it on screen. Just Women's Sports, a page, you know, popular on Twitter and Instagram that usually highlights, you know, women's soccer, women's basketball, all of that. Made a little bit of a statement. I think Asia, you know, she shared it in that tweet below, as you can see on screen, um, because the original page, Just Women's Sports, deleted it, but Asia found someone who captured the recording. So you can all see, basically, they were criticizing the logo, this and that. Look, my opinion on the logo itself, I think it's I think it's solid. I think it's one of those things that when I think about it on a shoe, I think it look will look good. And, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's solid. Happy for Asia Wilson. Well deserves, well past due for her to be getting her signature line with Nike. And on top of that, you know, they dropped a t-shirt with the logo on it, and the t-shirt has sold out. So, there you go. People obviously like it. Asia Wilson supporters obviously rock with it. So, this is just only good news going forward for when her shoe is eventually released. Because, I mean, if the shirt sold out after coming out after like a day. I believe it sold out in only like a day. If not less than a week. Because they just dropped it. So, yeah. That's all I have, pretty much. News about Aces vs. Chicago Sky. Hopefully the Sky can pull out a W tonight. I think um, we'll give it Aces regardless. We'll give them a lot they can handle. Sky are very competitive in most of their games. We rarely ever get blown out completely. Sometimes we'll get outscored badly in one quarter and fight back. And Chicago, the Sky just really has to just stay consistent throughout all four quarters. And that's something that you know they're very aware of. They've mentioned it in post-game interviews through Coach Teaspoon, through Angel Reese, you know, Dana Evans, all of them has mentioned it. So it's going to be interesting. And um, let me know what you guys think is going to happen tonight. That's my preview for the game. And your boy First Degree is out. And I hope all of you have a blessed day. If you mess with the content and aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. And yeah, peace.